Jacob, you would say Jacob. If you ask Zach, you would say Zach. Definitely not Cole, though. Uh, but Pick's good, too. Pick can, pick can strike it. Uh, me and Jacob have played a lot. Some days he gets my number, some days I get his. <laughs> Zach's pretty good. He's all irons, though. He's afraid to use the big boys. How does uh, his coach say for golfer, too? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I think he's played a little bit, but he's, he doesn't talk about it that much. We just talk about it between each other just to kind of Tanner, what you know, in many ways, 2019 was kind of a breakout season for you, and 2020 was a breakout season for Mo. I'm just curious how you how you get that clicking where you have that kind of full offensive balance between you. Right, and I think it goes back to uh, understanding why we're calling the things we call, uh, uh, knowing what we want to do. And it comes down to just you know, it's not about who gets the stats, who gets the numbers, who gets this and that. It's about executing as an offense. That might be. 300 rushing yards, that might be 300 passing yards, but uh, you know we have to continue to be better on the perimeter and, and that starts with me uh, to take you know more stress off Mo and you know, be better outside to make more plays out there. So it's exciting and most most best uh, is incredibly gifted running back, incredibly gifted player, and an awesome person. So we just got to continue to take every day as a new opportunity and change our best every day in August. I'm looking forward to it. Tanner, what? Yeah, he's so much length, so much talent. Uh, he's a great dude. He wants to work. He's willing to put in the work. Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, if you look at him, you're just like, yeah, that, that dude's different. Uh, he's got... He's talented. He can make all the plays. And, uh, he's a great dude, and it's awesome to uh, to be able to get the chance to throw with him. I'm excited to get him at camp too. He's been, he made a big stride in, in training in spring ball. Yeah. So do you guys like perhaps be number one because on the belt? Is he going to be like your number two or number three guy, or you just don't know? Yeah. You know, we don't know, man. Uh, we got a lot of guys that can make a lot of plays from him, uh, Daniel Jackson, Mike Brown. Uh, Play, Doug, there's so many people who can make plays. Uh, and we're, you know, a lot of guys are going to get opportunities to, to help us out this fall. And we're excited to, to see them do it. Tanner, uh, what's it like playing for a coach like PJ Fleck? Yeah, it's what's so awesome about it is it, it's so much more than just on the field. It's so much more than just uh, what do you do. Uh, your stats, your all, your this, your that. How do you produce? It's about being the best person you can be, athletically or academically, athletically, socially, and spiritually. He's going to bring the best out of you in all four of those areas. He's going to challenge you, and it's going to be demanding uh, that that you change your best in, in all four areas of, of your life. And what's also so awesome about our program, of coaches, we embrace failing. We embrace failing as an opportunity to learn from it. Uh, and his team meetings are awesome because it's, they're so positive. They're so uh, you're going to get something out of it that. You know, that, that'll take help you for the next however many years of your life. So it's pretty cool. Does that energy that he exhibits uh, wear off on you guys? Yeah, it definitely does. I mean, he comes in, he comes into uh, team meetings, to the facility with just energy and love and genuine passion uh, to be there, and that definitely rubs off on us because you know, we see it. We see a coach that cares about us, that's passionate about us, that loves us, that wants to be there, and we want to be there for him and uh, do our best that we can for each other and for him too. Thanks.